I and Hugh Bennett is the deputy editor of Brexit Central. Good morning, Hugh. Morning. What's Brexit Central? Just quickly. Uh, Brexit Central. We're basically we're just an online news site that covers okay. Brexit um, yeah, as comprehensively as possible. We're po- optimistic about the outcome, and uh, yeah, I think we're doing everything we can to sort of support that process. Are you as optimistic about the outcome today as you might have been on? Thursday morning, for example, yeah. how much have things changed in your view? Well, clearly, this isn't the result that anyone was expecting in terms of the uh, in terms of the election. But when I think, when you look at the fundamentals of Brexit, I don't think it actually changes that much. I think when you look at you know both of the main parties, Conservatives and Labour, you know they get they got sort of almost eighty five percent of the vote share. You know, were parties who were calling for you know, calling for an end to free movement, calling for calling for new trade deals, you know, all of these things mean, you know, outside the single market, outside the customs union, you know, this isn't some sort of, you know, the hardest of well, hard Brexits as some sort of Remain campaign has been putting it, you know, this is simply a, a clean Brexit. Well, so, what, about, what about the particular type of Brexit that Theresa May was in support of and that she wanted to base the entire campaign around, really? If we conclude that this election was about that, as she wanted it to be, can we also conclude that, that Britain has rejected that particular model that Theresa May was putting forward. Well, I think there's two issues here. I think, firstly, when you when you actually look at the the Labour position on Brexit, you know, I mean, it was actually you know, very very hard to distinguish it from the Conservative position. You know, they basically called for the same things. You know, they've called for an end to freedom of movement. That means out of the single market. They've called for new trade deals around the world. That means out of the customs union. You know, I think Keir Starmer just last Sunday, you know, ruled out continued ECJ jurisdiction over citizens' rights. You know, that was meant to be the one distinguishing pledge that Labour made. You know, having a unilateral guarantee of citizens' rights. He's now said, actually, we've looked at the EU's demands and we can't even accept those. So, you know, I think that, that their positions are actually, you know, we're actually very similar to so the idea that sort of okay. it's a very distinct Theresa May kind of Brexit that's been rejected, well, I don't uh, think is correct. Uh, Labour, you know, over 80% of the vote share went to parties, you know, saying you know, we're ending free movement, we're creating new trade deals. You know, that means out of the single market, out of the customs union, there's not, those aren't the Conservatives' rules, you know, those are the EU's rules. You know, both, you know, all the major parties are calling for a comprehensive free trade agreement. On the other hand, you know, the one party the Liberal Democrats, you know, who are explicitly going on a let's stay in the single market platform, you know, they were targeting 48% of the vote. They couldn't even get 8%. You know, this is a tight, you know, their vote share fell. You know, the number of people who actually you know, backed their calls for this sort of you know, a, 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 Brexit, you know, a, a Brexit that isn't really a Brexit, you know, where you're staying in the single market, you know, was, was absolutely tiny. I think, you know, I think the, the idea that, that um, you know, the clean Brexit has been rejected when all, all of the, you know, the parties that scooped up the vast majority of votes... I don't, I don't think you can really draw anything 